Odyssey update 1.07 that adds a ton of new features and content is out now. I will give you a full rundown of everything you need to know regarding the level cap upgrade, visual customization system, the new quest line and everything else that this update includes. I gotta say, I think this is one of the best updates Ubisoft ever released for an Assassin's Creed game, at least in my memory. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated. And let's go. Let's start with a thing you will immediately notice thanks to a pop-up message that will show up when going through the different menus, the visual customization feature. How it works is that the item you see in your inventory is the item that adds power to your character. So here you want to equip the best gear you have with the best stats for the playstyle that you want to play as. So I selected all the best epic warrior gear I have, but yeah, since that does not look as cool as legendary items, I wanted to change the look. So then go over to the gear icon and press square or X on Xbox and you will go into the visual customization window. And here you will see all the gear you collected throughout your journey. So even if you don't have them anymore. You see that I got almost all the helmets in the game even though I don't own them anymore at this moment. So then just select one of the gear pieces that you want to show while you keep the stats of the, in my case, epic item I have equipped. Some items have different variants as well that were first linked to the rarity, if I'm not mistaken. Now you can switch between them by pressing square or X on Xbox after selecting the specific item. And I never knew that some of these items had so many different colors, so that is really cool to see. Some also have a level restriction that you need to reach level 55, 65 or even 70 before you see the special variants. And I would imagine that if you are not level 50 yet that some of these colors also unlock on level 40 or 45, 50, something like that. But yeah, some are hidden behind the new level cap and I will touch on the increase to level 70 in a second. The level restriction for some of the items were just for a handful of items by the way. I had like almost all the variants unlocked locked from the start. Story related gear was also added like the bare chested and oiled outfit that you of course wear during the Olympics or you can also have one without the oil. It's a full body outfit by the way so when you select this you do not see all the other gear you have equipped. This new system also works for the weapons although they have to be in the same weapon category. When searching for a cool look you see all the weapons from that category that you again have picked up at one point or got in your inventory at the moment. And now you can just select the one that you like the most. Good to note is that if the weapon you have equipped is always on fire like with the legendary perk, then the weapon you save as luck is always on fire as well. Also a small nice thing is that it saves the look for a specific item so you don't have to like select the look every time you change your gear. And you see that thanks to the sort of eye icon on the gear piece. And I don't know about you, but I will be rocking like a ton of Origins weapons now that were first epic or blue items, but now I can actually use them without losing my strength. Like this so-called Golden Axe, that was of course from the For Honor pack back in the day, but more importantly, if we go over to Bose, I can now use the Jackal's Gaze without having to worry about my power, reliving old memories right there. I will never switch my bow look for sure. If you are not familiar, the Jackal's Gaze bow was from Origins and has this whole legacy inside that game. And now, for some reason, the look is also in Odyssey, so I will be rocking that for sure. And as I told you in a previous video, there's no cost for like using this system, so you can always change the look for every occasion. So yes, I'm rocking the awesome looking Pilgrim set right now while still maintaining my insane warrior stats. It's really all possible and also going after gear pieces has a new meaning now. It doesn't matter if they are bad in terms of stats but if they look cool then you want to get them. Like I now have an extra drive to go and chase all the missing equipment that I can't select in this window yet. I can now also go and dismantle all my useless gear that I first kept for the cool looks so I will likely never run into inventory problems again. This feature improves the game on so many levels and the fact that epic gear is better in most cases than legendary gear does not really matter anymore because you can like still rock this amazing legendary set in terms of looks. And you are not forced to wear a full legendary set anymore because you want to get a set bonus. Now you can mix and match the pieces while still maintaining your power. In a recent video we talked about the missing legacy outfits and that they are not planned for Odyssey at the moment. And one of the reasons Bruno the live content director gave me was the fact that the gear system is now different with the different gear pieces. 
But now with this system, they show that it can be different as well. Because why not make a legacy outfit a full body outfit as well, just like that outfit we got from the Olympics. That you can claim it from the Ubisoft store and then get it as a visualization option in the chest section that also changes your complete look. Ubisoft also notes that they want to move forward to change things up, but some things you don't want to change, like some things people always want and that is an awesome legacy outfit. So. Now that it's technically possible, from the looks of it, I think it would be cool if we could still get these outfits. The legacy portion of the game is now in the familiar assassins that we get as lieutenants on our ship. We of course got Eevee and Bayek in the game now, that you can also summon in the world with the call to arms assassin ability. And while I had some issues getting the right lieutenant to show up at first, I can now confirm that this finally works properly with update 1.07. The lieutenant you have in the first spot in the ship menu will now be battling by your side if you summon him. So I now have Bayek helping me while shooting with the Jackal's Gaze bow. Does a man need more in life? I really don't think so. Okay, the level cap upgrade is great as well. We can now go to level 70 and players that were already level 50 when update 1.07 released did get some ability points as well. So first they said it would be based on the amount of XP you earned on level 50. But now it seems like everyone got 8 ability points because even Yasuo reached out to me on Twitter, said that he barely played on level 50 but still got the 8 ability points. So seems to be the same for everyone but of course let me know if you got more or less ability points if you were already level 50 when update 1.07 released. We by the way need 571,600 XP to level 51 and the level of course does not only increase your power as well but Ubisoft also added new levels for the common perks on your gear. We now see two extra dots next to the icon of the perk, likely meaning that if you level up beyond level 50 and then upgrade this gear to 51 or something like that, that the perk will also increase by one level, going from 5% all damage to 6% I would think. That would be logical though, but as you'll see later on in this video, I already got some items that are level 50 and even 49 that still got a level 6 perk. So. Not sure what is going on, but let's figure it out together. So if you are level 70, upgraded your gear or maybe already on 61, you should have the level 7 perks. Let me know if you upgraded an item that got the level 7 perks so we can kind of like piece together how this new perk system works. This is by the way not only for gear but also for the weapons we have the extra perk level. I also see the extra level for the engraving perks but I'm not sure how you will be able to get them because I don't see any new challenges. Maybe you also get them on a higher level, but again, I'm not sure. And of course, if you have the XP boost from the Helix Store, you will reach this new max level faster. But with the update, you can also turn it off if you want. I can't show you that because I don't have the boost, but it should be possible via the inventory menu. But yeah, overall, seeing the XP go into the XP bar is just really satisfying. I totally miss that. And then if you reach level 60 for example and want to upgrade your gear, you will now see that it includes the discounts that are active at the time depending on your ranking on the mercenary ladder. So yes, you see the discounts for the upgrading, engraving and of course also your purchases. And if you go to a specific tab, you will only see the discount for that specific service. And this ties into the new page in the mercenary window that shows all the benefits from this system in one handy window you can trigger by pushing the left analog stick. Like all the benefits were already in the game but now you see him thanks to a nice overview and by the way with update 1.06 the first tier on your mercenary ladder was locked well now it's unlocked but it basically gives you no rewards would be cool by the way if they added new mercenaries now that we can level up as well maybe that they push you down some tiers or that they simply add some new ranks to the first tier but maybe we will see some new mercenaries with the launch of the first season pass episode that is already coming in December and we get three quest lines in between the season pass episodes and the second one launched alongside the updates you can find it over here on the map and that quest is the start of many things you have to do for this mysterious lady like you will be sent to many places nearby, have some choice in the activity as well and at the end you have to make a choice too 
that you might think has an impact on your rewards but that was not the case in my game and it also did not really impact the story or anything like I saved before the point that I turned the final quest in and tried both choices but in both cases I got the helmet of Gorgophone that is pretty nice with a crit chance while full health and warrior damage but again I hope it would be different depending on your choice or that the ending of the quest would be any different but yeah that is not the case and the quest was fun though but it's not something you haven't seen before so I had warrior damage on the helm no matter what choice I did but that might also be because I was wearing a full warrior set and that is because of the newly added smart loot system that will give you loot for your preferred playstyle and it seems to be based on the gear you are wearing at the moment so I was only wearing warrior gear for the whole Lost Tales of Greece mission and also everything that dropped was for the warrior playstyle but then when I switched to a hunter playstyle and cleared out a leader house the gear that dropped was all for the hunter Good to note is that the mercenary drops will not change and that's because you can of course already view them in the mercenary window would suck if they changed from what you thought you would get right I also found the first level 51 item where to see that but we will likely get used to it and we also see the first increased perk on this level 51 gear piece but like I already said I also found this on items below the level 50 so not sure why that is but I thought it was worth pointing out for sure we also got an update to the photo mode with a new contrast option an option to hide the headgear without having to go to the inventory we got more grid options out of focus was improved there's also now a preview button that will show the picture without the UI so that is really really nice Vogue and Bloom options are also new just like the angle increase from 45 to 90 degrees the patch of course also includes a ton of fixes for example for the follow road function for on your horse that would sometimes go to the active quest marker instead of your custom marker some oricalcum placement has been addressed the hitboxes for the legendary animals in the game are improved and there should be more NPCs in various NPC stations like marketplaces and we do see that in a comparison from updates 1.06 to 1.07 footage so that is pretty cool to see Ubisoft also added support for the future live events that of course happen every Tuesday and the mercenary live event should also have been fixed so we will see what happens this Tuesday hopefully we finally get a mercenary but of course at this point we only saw a new ship in the game although some people saw a mercenary as well yeah things did not really work out hopefully they fixed it I'll of course be streaming the live event when it goes live on Tuesday some quests could not be completed but they have been fixed like the street run red Minotaur the force really love that mission by the way home sweet home and more as you see in this full list on the screen and a big fix for the PC players is also included namely the fact that the clo physics are not capped to 30 FPS but will scale to the selected graphic settings so you you will be of course happy to hear that when you are on the PC and for some reason there were two rogue council chamber guards who did not bother guarding the location they were supposed to well Ubisoft made sure they would not do that again and there are more fixes in this update I will of course have the full patch notes inscription down below but that is not all Ubisoft also added a ton of secret changes that you will not find in these patch notes I already made a list with things that I spotted like more than normal but of course if you find some interesting things as well that were changed but that I did not note in this video totally let me know in the comments of this video you can also reach out on Twitter at your Raptor or Instagram your Raptor as well follow me there and then reach out if you found something interesting but also to stay up to date on everything that I'm up to because I post a lot on Twitter actually so if you want to know that I'm like working on a specific video or something totally check my Twitter so yeah if you got a secret change reach out and it might be included in the upcoming video and I already had a ton of things planned for future videos but now this patch drops so everything has been pushed a little bit but this weekend I will totally have a big Odyssey video up with a ton of things I want to discuss here on the channel so totally subscribe to stay up to date on everything that is going on in Assassin's Creed Odyssey if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you know when my video goes live like this video to support channel and yes I always want to end my videos with my search for the Hades lieutenant from a freaking Olympian gift but I really have been super busy lately and I did not have time to finish the weekly naval quest yet that is really time consuming by the way so I'll continue my search soon for sure so yeah check out my recent video on a big new boss fight that was in the game and the weekly reset and I will of course speak to you next time goodbye